To be honest with you, if it makes you feel any better, I haven't actually rewatched the films. Properly. What? This morning we are joined by one man who I know is is more than fine. I'm told. I really hope so. As being introduced as a character that he has played, a legendary character. It's Draco Malfoy himself. Please put your hands together. Tom Felton is with yeah. us. Yeah. Thank you, Ooh. thank you. Good morning. I mean, please say you're fine with with still that introduction. I'm not. Sorry. See you later. Yeah, oh, I was going to say. No. Um, Tom, Tom, how are you, mate? Yes, very well. Very well. Yourself? Yeah, very good. Thanks for having very me. Very nice. No, it's lovely. Yeah, we've got we've got a copy of the book yes, right excellent. here. This is very exciting. Beyond the One. So this is your autobiography, am I right? In- it is. It's a memoir so far. Autobiography. I'm a little short in my life to really think of it as my entire. Uh, existence, but yeah, it's 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 everything up to uh, up to now. What I like about this is Harry Potter fans will think they know everything there is to know, but mm. I presume you've got some bits in here that we've never heard before. Lots, really. Go on, tell us something. <laughs> what can you tell us? <laughs> tell us something now. I don't know where to start. I mean, really, it's just a it's a big collection of all the um, uh, of anecdotes and memories that I have, all the specifics from being cast as a rather snotty uh, 12 year old <laughs> to finishing the films and everything in between really um, it's it's not, never really was intended to be a book more of me just writing down all these little individual stories and it just so happened that after a few years of doing that uh, that I had enough um, stories that I thought could actually be be worth sharing in a book but that's it because I mean like you know as you're saying there, there there must be so much because obviously you know we've, we've watched you grow up mm. but at the same time you are still a real human being and you're still <laughs> growing up on screen in front of all those people so I presume that's what you mean by there's stories that people might not know about yeah a bit of both to be honest with you there's obviously stuff um, stories about literal filming how we how we did a lot of the stuff we did but also mostly a lot of the normal muggle teenage stuff that I got up to in between yeah um, <laughs> so it's not as far from some <clears throat> uh, behind the scenes tell or, or just that rather it's, yeah. quite, it's quite a lot of uh, what it was like growing up with three older brothers and uh, um, and sort of juggling Hogwarts and muggle <laughs> schooling at the same time I love that you call it muggle schooling I yeah. still really love that you were talking about obviously being cast in the film there was a bit in the book that says that you didn't even know what Harry Potter was when you went for the audition true like I find that all, a little bit mad at the same time because the books were already out. So what were you doing at the time when these books are out? Did you not think to maybe read one before you went out for the audition? It, w- it probably would have been a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I, quite ironically, I blagged it basically. Yeah, uh, I I think because um, in the in the original audition. Um, stages, basically they invited everyone in the UK who was a fan of the books. So there were thousands of children lining up who knew all about Hogwarts and Gringotts and and um, I had no idea about any of it uh, and I definitely lied on, on my audition to say, oh yeah, I know exactly what... <laughs> I know exactly what Gringotts is. They're brilliant. Um, and, I, and I'm pretty sure Chris Columbus, the director, saw that as... Um, probably a perfect Malfoy candidate. So so right. in a way, not reading the books helped get me the part. <laughs> when, 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 you, when you did ultimately get that part, right, how, did you just, I, I would, I, if it was me, I would literally stand up in front of the entire assembly and do it. But I'm an attention seeker, that's why. <laughs> how, how did you do it? Did, did everyone just go nuts at school? You must have been the coolest kid. <laughs> No, it's so far from the truth. I mean, it wasn't at school. It was actually at my, um, bearing in mind, Potter wasn't as, as, well, it was still big then, but it was not quite the phenomenon that it is today. But I was at my friend Richie's house after school playing football in the garden. Yeah. Um, and I write about it in the book. And, and her, his mum rather saying, uh, Tom, mum's on the phone. So I ran in and was like, what? You got it? Got what? You got the part? What part? You, Draco, you get to play Draco. I was like, all right. Can I go back to football now? Yeah. <laughs> and subsequently, all I remember about that day is I lost that game. Oh. But I won the part. But you won uh, the part. Yeah, exactly. But, but so when, when did people... did uh, Presumably, uh, uh, at that age, if you go into school and you're like, you know, I'm playing this thing, it's going to be a big movie. People go, yeah, whatever. And then all of a sudden they see the film. It was definitely a lot of, yeah, whatever. Um, the blonde hair was the giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. I, so the moment I got the part, it was uh, part of a weekly regime of uh, of <laughs> basically bleaching my hair every day, uh, which makes you stand out from the from the yeah. from the muggles at school quite a lot. Um, but yeah, it was obviously it was only in the in the later. I I got the part maybe a few months after starting my secondary school, so it was towards the end of my of my schooling um, time that Potter really started to, to, well, 
start to be what it is today, I guess. Mm. I love you call people muggles. Yeah. Same. It's a great word. It, it is it's a, it's a good word. word. It makes sense a lot. When you went to um, Harry Potter Studios, you talk about this in the book as well. Mm. Was that a really surreal moment? Because suddenly you're surrounded by everything that you guys have created. And it's must be overwhelming. The studio tour. Yeah. Uh, it, absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah, it's difficult to to believe it, but when we were making the making the films, especially, we never we never predicted that that these things would be um, um, valuable. Or I would have stolen way more yeah. props <laughs> if I had known. <laughs> had I known. Um, no, but it's really it's it's really cool. Actually, um, I go there uh, quite a bit. To be fair, uh, sometimes just to sort of geek out, and uh, it's a bit like going back to your old school, but it's perfectly preserved and everything's exactly as it. As it was, and I think it's, it's insane. Have you been there? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Do you want to know my honest? Do you want to know my honest answer, Tom? Like, scold me if you want. Go on. I have never seen Harry Potter. Goodness gracious! How has he I, managed it? I have never seen Harry Potter. Honestly, I don't. Well, I was going to say I envy you. I don't, but you you have a lot to look forward to. I know, but but that's what a lot of people say. Yeah, I, I feel sick saying it to you, as <laughs> I do okay. when most people see it, and they go and they just completely scold me, as I say. Is, but, it, is it hard to admit? It is hard to. Do you need us to I think there's a lot. Thank you. Well done for getting out of your chest. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people out there that are like me and they've never watched it. And you just kind of go, oh my God, the third one. And you, and you sit there and you go, yeah. But I'm fully aware of the magnitude of it and how fantastic it is. I mean, I've even been to Warner Brothers set. I've been to the studio. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. And I did what uh, you did in your first audition and go, yeah, yeah. Oh, know that. Love that one. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, if it makes you feel any better, I haven't actually rewatched the films properly. What? I've seen them it's at premieres. I know, I know, I know. But I have a very good... I'm saving them. I think it's something that... Obviously, they, whenever I'm watching TV with my mates and it comes on, they immediately put it on and immediately take the mickey yeah. out of me. Uh, <laughs> You've never just binged them all? Back to no, back. No, no, but I, I... Again, not out of any other reason than I'm saving them. I really look forward to doing it... Um, because most of my family, I've got three older brothers, um, which I talk about quite a bit in the book. Most of them fell asleep during the premiere, so <laughs> it might. It, it, I know, yeah. You're so. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, Tom, do you know what I would love to do? We should set up a movie night, Tom. You yes. and I. You and I, Let's and we'll it. sit and we'll watch it. Let's do it. No, because yeah. you're going to be one of those annoying people that go, what happens next? No, i just I'm watch not. it. We're I'm watching not. it together. No, I think that'd be quite nice. I think it would be lovely. You, it's you're, a play date. You obviously yeah. love talking about Harry Potter, which is amazing, but is mm. there anything that like, you get sick of? Like, if someone come up to you in the street and start prodding you and being like, oh, say this. Yeah, ideally, that would that scenario would not be right, forget welcome. forget the prod. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Any Forget the prodding me with a wand. <laughs> Say it. Do you know what I mean, right? Um, I, I do. I don't really. I'm very lucky because because of the blonde hair is gone, um, and I'm somewhat scruffier than than Malfoy. I usually get sort of completely ignored. Um, but yes, I mean, other than me having dinner with my mum, I can't think of any other reason why. Uh, I mean, maybe <laughs> say it. <laughs> Say it. That might be a bit much. What do they want you to say? Like, usually the, Potter. Potter. Uh, just that. Potter. Uh, <laughs> Potter comes up a lot. But I really enjoy seeing it. Yeah. So, so, so someone comes up to you and says, can you do the Potter yeah. thing? I will, you, uh, well, I'm not going to advertise that on the radio. Yeah. I, might get, I might get far too many requests. <laughs> say it. a disaster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we cut just made Tom's life hell. Can no, we cut I'm that just... bit out? Is that, yeah. <laughs> no, there's a few, there's a few uh, lines. And again, when we said them, or when I said them, they were not, um, quote unquote, uh, iconic. Then my father will hear about this. Mm. Um, <laughs> didn't know you could read Potter. There's a, there's a, there's a few. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy to, to say them in the company of friends. Love that. Mm. Love that. So nice. I mean, uh, one thing, I mean, clearly, you know, we, we've we've been lucky enough to, to have, uh, you know, Daniel Radcliffe in here as well. And, and How is he? Every, oh, do you know what? I, I'll be honest with you. Every time I've, I've, we've ever come across anyone that was a part of those films, mm. all of you speak so finely about it and, and so happily about it that it was an amazing time and, and an amazing thing to be a part of. But you're all just genuinely lovely people. I mm. mean, is there still, is there still a WhatsApp group I like to imagine there is? Don't be fooled. Daniel used to bully me a lot. No! Was, no, no, I'm definitely joking. <laughs> oh, oh, God! My heart's Daniel, so shattered! No, no, no. no it's I'm not joking. an honesty session, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> I got carried away. So, uh, no, we're obviously we're obviously very close friends. All, all of us, it sounds sort of like a cheesy line to say that we're all family. Um, mm. We don't often see each other, all of us together in the same 
room as much as yeah. we'd like to. Um, but yeah, there is a cheeky WhatsApp group going. And we still make lots of really um, geeky Potter jokes. Like, I, I, will, I will only refer to them as the Griffin Dorks. Oh, oh nice. nice. The Griffin Dorks. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, so, yeah, the banter is still there. And we're obviously, um, well, we're linked forever, but we're all, we're, all, uh, we're all good friends. Does the films force you to, anyone you meet, sort of put them in the houses that they would be in the films? I do ask people this quite a bit. In fact, we should have a little little go around now. Do could you, could you, are you could guys you sorted? That? What houses well, are... Well, could you do it for us? Yeah, I mean, uh, I would have no idea. Well, I mean, I'm no sorting hat, uh, but I would put you all in Slytherin because you, no. you seem like my type of people. Okay, so. all right, okay. that's fair yeah. enough. Yeah. But that's fair enough. Honestly, the hat has a mysterious... Uh, I've got no idea. Half my family are Hufflepuffs, which I was very disappointed to. To hear, but I was very glad that I was actually sorted into um, into Slytherin. Who who out of us three? Who would you say, Chris? I'm I'm looking at you because uh, you have kids as well, and I imagine mm. you've watched these films several times. Yeah, but my daughter will be buzzing that you are putting me in the same house as you. Mm-hmm. That will be that will be. She'll be listening to this right now on the way into school, as will many kids. And it's magical. It's magical the power that that film has, and the power you guys have to kind of do this sort of thing. I would say I'm not Slytherin, if I'm honest. What house would you consider yourself to I be? I don't know, guys. Well, uh, uh, do you want to know our producer notes? Go right. On. The producer notes that we, we had earlier on, and I, again, this I don't understand, but I'm here for it. Go on. <laughs> Sunny would be placed into Hufflepuff. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you seem disappointed. This is, this, is, this is the work vote, right? This is uh, the capital well, floor had a I, vote. Yeah. So Sunny Sunny talks Sunny, a lot of Hufflepuff. A Hufflepuff. So this might be a good character uh, <laughs> basis for you. Good. So Sunny would be in Hufflepuff. Uh-huh. Sean, apparently you would be in Ravenclaw. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can I mind nails. that? Oh, right, toenails. I see. It's not <laughs> um, toenails. <laughs> Chris, Chris would be in Gryffindor. Great. Yeah, Chris, yeah, I was yeah. going to say Gryffindor. Yeah, yeah. And then I would be in Slytherin. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least we've got someone on there. Well, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah. that's, that's a healthy mix. It's the best house, right? Yeah, I think... Well, well how would you know? You wouldn't know. <laughs> well, I'm saying, it must be. Tom's here, why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up, you just... Uh, you need to watch the movies. <laughs> what are you? Exactly. Hey, <laughs> look, <laughs> b- before you go, Tom... Yes. The, the weirdness is, is about to get even weirder, okay? Because we, we have stumbled across something. It's a new sport, right, that we're going to be taking on. Uh-oh. Now, this is a genuine thing. It's called toe wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. This serious? isn't a joke. Mm. Okay. This isn't a joke. This is Roman, real. they had Quidditch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, no. But but this is called toe... Yeah, but this is... We're actually doing this here. Toe wrestling, right? Uh, right. And it's going to be me versus Chris Stark. Just looking at us now... Yes. Who do you think could... Could win. Well, it's hard. I haven't actually checked out your. Uh... Would you like to see our toes? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Tom, Tom, I think seeing Roman's toes are going to make a massive difference in your in your answer to this. I, I, I can just tell by his steely eyes that he's got <laughs> strong, powerful toes. Toes. Yeah. Yes, it so. is the Voldemort of toes. <laughs> is it? It, it? it is. You don't mention it. Harry Do you know Trotter. what I mean? <laughs> 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 Very good. Yeah. Hey, well, look, uh, Tom, do you know what? This has been so much fun. Thank oh, you so much for coming Tom. in today, My mate. Pleasure. Thanks and uh, me. make sure you go and pick up Tom's brand new book, Beyond the One from Tom Felton. Uh, let's hear it. Tom Felton, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much.